And good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. How are you? I'm very grateful that we're having this moment together. What I'm going to talk to you today, um, I'm going to talk to you about all kinds of wonderful things. And I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful uh, frittata. You know, we love frittatas. Because the frittata carries you from breakfast and to lunch and then whatever leftover frittata you get to eat that again um it's delicious and what i want to talk to you about and i'm going to turn you back to over here okay slowly all right i'm going to talk to you about kale a lot of people don't like kale but kale is very high on vitamin a b k c b6 Mag, manganese, I can't even say that. Um, and then we're going to talk about all these other wonderful vegetables. I always talk, hi Michael, how are you? Thank you so much for watching, sweetie. So kale right now, you know, zinc is very, very needed right now. Um, it really keeps you healthy. It's got all the vitamins that you need. And everything that I cook, I always stress the importance of health and everything I use it's all about continuing to building our immune system keep, keeping us healthy a good healthy immune system is harder to get sick so when your body's an alkaline your body doesn't get sick so I have a bunch of beautiful kale mushrooms mushrooms is wonderful for people that have diabetes uh, it's, it's just very, very good, uh, all the way around and, and, you know, and, and, you know, I'm Italian and I love all this stuff. And then this is some little peppers that I, I grew, look at that, they're growing in my backyard in, in pots. So I'm using some of those. I'm using a shallot. Don't worry. If you don't have a shallot, don't stress about it. Okay. A shallot, uh, you could use an onion. So don't worry about it. Uh, just chop it up and then um you're good to go just a small small onion okay guys all right no big deal then of course it's always all about the garlic you know me i'm all about the garlic and i'm all about the garlic oh yeah and for the people that don't like kale i'm very sorry for you you can use spinach so you can substitute it for spinach okay guys and then I'm going to bring you to over here. I have three eggs that I have just added a little bit of salt and I beat, uh, I beat them up. I know, terrible. I don't like beating anybody up. Okay, and then I have some uh, beautiful basil. Oh, look at this beautiful basil that I have chopped up in here. And I'm having a cocktail this morning. My cocktail is blueberry basil kombucha come uh, look up kombucha guys is wonderful it's wonderful healthy for you and you know i'm all about health and nutrition um i like to make bacon on a sunday and then i use that bacon all the rest of the week for my cooking so i'm going to be adding some chopped bacon if you don't have chopped bacon guys don't stress about it no big deal Cooking, cooking is all about having fun and making it fun and not stressful. Okay, so then I am going to show you the herbs, okay? We're going to be using a little bit of uh, spazzi, um, uh, red peppers. Uh, we're going to use uh, granulated garlic. I have a, a tablespoon of granulated garlic. I have a, ta um, a tablespoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of of white pepper remember these guys these guys are always married they're always married because turmeric does not absorb into your body unless you use pepper okay you can check that out if you don't believe me i invite you to do all the work i do the work for you to bring this to you to help you out okay so this is going to be very different and what we're going to be doing is as you can see like cinnamon what cinnamon yes i have i have a uh a wonderful I don't know if you could see it a fourth of teaspoon of cinnamon okay and I have a fourth teaspoon of cumin and a fourth teaspoon of ginger why am I using these um, wonderful uh, spices is because they are anti-inflammatory 
and they have a lot of wonderful things for you, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do to show you this wonderful frittata is I'm going to bring you back to the pan. And, okay, so what we are done is we're using some beautiful olive oil, and I'm just heating up my uh, oil, and it's on medium. About uh, oil. Mine is on number, as you can see it right there. All right, so what, how do we do this? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my garlic. And uh, garlic is an anti-inflammatory. It's also very, very good for... Um... Oh, hello, Sebastian. So nice to, uh, that you joined us. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's also very, uh, it's an, uh, a natural antibiotic. So if you're feeling, you know, if you're feeling a little not right, you know, make sure that you have a lot of garlic. I definitely do. So I'm just adding and adding from over here. You see what I'm doing, guys? Very simple, very easy. And you start this in the morning, and then that way this is what we'll be carrying into your lunch, all right? All right, so what I want to do is I want to do my peppers, peppers and onions uh, with the garlic. They all like each other. These guys, they all are meant to like each other. I know it looks like a lot of oil, but when you start adding everything else, and, you know, I'm not adding any potatoes to this, uh, so pretty much this is all going to be uh, all vegetables. Hello, Stacy. Thank you so much for joining, sweetie. I pray that everybody's doing well. And we are cooking, cooking up a storm. And this is going to be for a breakfast, and then um, it's going to be carrying to lunch. I'm going to also show you real quick. What I have here is I'm going to serve this with sliced tomatoes. My father used to do this, in, uh, and he would just make it very simple. Just sliced tomatoes, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil, and you're good to go. And that's going to be my fruit. Uh, you can use fruit, you know, whatever fruit you want, but uh, it, it kind of goes nicely with what I am making. Okay. And, oops, sorry. I don't want to make you guys dizzy here. I'm using one hand because in that way I can see you and I can interact with you because I love to interact with you. All right, look at that. Olive oil is also very good. It cleanses your insides. You know what I'm talking about. And what I'm trying to do here is I don't want to burn anything. So right now everybody is really happy together. They're all getting along. They're probably all having going, oh my God, this is so good. I'm going to go to somebody's stomach and I'm going to make them feel good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add, like, you know, it's very simple, very, very simple, okay? I'm not, I have not put it this bit, uh, gosh, I'm, I'm forgetting how to speak Italian, mamma mia. Me stai scordando di come parlare l'italiano. Hello, Diane Williams, so nice to see you, my love. Thank you so much for joining. I'm going to learn, uh, I'm going to teach you Italian, Okay. First word I'm going to teach you, buongiorno, buongiorno, buongiorno in Italian means good morning, buongiorno, buongiorno. Okay, now I am going to use uh, this pezzi. You know, I'm from Calabria, that's how we talked about it, and, uh, and I like a little heat. Who doesn't like a lot of heat? I've also used a jalapeno from in this before. You see how easy and simple this is, guys? Look how easy and simple this is. Okay. I make, I show you different kinds of frittatas so that I don't get you bored. I grew up eating frittatas all the time. You know, every Sunday my father would get up and eat. You know, my, da my father would work 12 to 14 hours a day as a mechanic. And then um, on Sunday, well, Sunday was the only day off. And he would get up in the morning and make frittata for all of us. God bless my parents that are smiling from heaven. All right, look how beautiful this. I have not uh, done anything. It's, uh, I have not added any salt to this yet. I have not added any of my seasonings yet, okay? Just the spezzi, um, the hot uh, red pepper flakes. We love red pepper flakes. Okay, they're crushed. I have not added my bacon yet, you know, and that's optional. You don't have to add bacon, all right, for your vegetarians out there. All right, so now I'm going to add my kale. So I have what I have here is two different kales. I have baby kale, and I also have elephant kale. I think it's called elephant kale. 
you know, guys, if I didn't say it right, please forgive me. All right. Look how beautiful. Doesn't that look beautiful? And now I'm going to add my basil. I have an abundance of basil, so I'm using basil in everything. And basil is so good for you. We don't use basil a lot. There's a lot of things that we don't use that we should be using. All right. You know, somebody asked me, that, you know, why do you do this? Why do you go online and why do you do this? You know why I do this? Uh, for the person that asked that. It's because I love humanity and I love people and I love God. And this is my way to be a part of helping you to teach you how to have better health. And I'm 63 and uh, God bless all of you that are in their 60s or 50s or 20s or 30s or whatever. You know, you are loved by God and me. And that's why I do this, because I want to bring you my cooking. It's no secret. You see how beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at those bowls. Oh, it smells wonderful. Hello there, Jeff. I see you. Hello. Blessings and love. Blessings and love. And Jeff remembers when I made them spaghetti out of their beautiful tomatoes in the garden. I know he remembers that, I should remember that. All right, so now I'm gonna take my bacon. Again, this is optional, you don't have to use bacon, okay? I'm just going to do that. And um, the cinnamon, it's, uh, you know, you probably wonder why is she using, and what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna, you know, just shiffle, shiffly, 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 shiffly. It's all mixed, kind of mixed all of that. And then I'm gonna start implementing all of that in here. Look at that, look at that, okay? The spices that I told you earlier, you guys can rewind because I am gonna post this. Okay, so now, look at this. Oh, you know the first thing I smell is the cinnamon. Cinnamon, they use a lot of that from South Africa. That's what my girlfriend from South Africa tells me. She introduced me to use more cinnamon in my cooking. And cinnamon is very, very healthy and very, very, very good for you. You know, healthy mind, healthy mind, body, and spirit. There has to be balance. If you guys are not balanced, then you're not gonna feel good. So I'm trying to help you to feel good. All right, so now these guys are hanging out there like so. Okay, so now I am going to add my egg. Look, look at this technique. This is only three eggs. Look at this technique. Okay, covering everybody up. All right. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Isn't that beautiful? So remember what I showed you, what I do. You know, so I kind of go around like so to get everybody in the boat. Nobody's out of the boat. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? So then what I'm going to do, I'm just waiting for it to get nice and um, cooked on the bottom, okay? And then I am going to do the flippy flippy. All right, look at that. Look at that. Healthy, healthy. There, oh, okay. It looks like we, uh, there was a pause, isn't that cool? All right, all right, so now, um, you know, my dad sometimes will cut it, will, will do that, you know, when he didn't feel like flipping it, okay? So I could, and it cook. Again, this is all being cooked in medium. All righty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put my phone down because I am going to flip it, all right? So how do we flip this bait? All right, let me do that for you. Let me show you how we're going to do that flip. All right, the flipping is you take a dish, you put it over, all right? 
So you can also do it this way. I don't know if you saw it. All right, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I can grab my phone without losing you guys. Hold on. I'm using one hand here. I hope you guys saw the flipping part. So you see that in that beautiful, in that beautiful. I will cut these in fours. So this will be for breakfast and this will be for lunch. And I'm gonna be having it with a wonderful kombucha, a blueberry basil. And it has live probiotics. Live probiotics, which is wonderful for you wonderful for you okay guys thank you so much for joining me blessings to all of you the best thing that I can tell you is put some music on stay in joy we're all having a hard time but we will get through this together I love you dearly God loves you dearly and cheers to you, my dearest friends. Love you all. Blessings. Mmm. Yummy. Okay. Cha-cha, bellos. Cha-cha, bellos. Bello means beautiful. Cha-cha. Two words I taught you today. Buongiorno and bello. Okay. Bye-bye.